Hey guys! My hair is literally a beachy ratty mess. Oh, you haven't seen my new hair. Um, I dyed my hair. <laughs> I got a partial, if you know what that is. I did not brush my hair because I went to the beach, so my hair is really big right now. I have been wanting to do this video for the longest time ever. Oh yeah, by the way, I haven't uh, been on this channel in a long time. This is the American Trying British Candy Tag Challenge. It's not a challenge. I don't know why people call it a challenge. I'm literally just trying candy on camera. But I've been wanting to do this video forever because I like candy and I'm American and why not? There's a store called Cost Plus World Market and they had a few British candies because they have like candies from all over the world but they didn't have enough. They had like three that I was interested in. I knew of this British store in Ventura, so we just got back from Ventura and <laughs> I got a whole bag of British candy and I'm so excited. I also have these things called Kimberly's, which isn't candy, but I wanted to try them. They don't look that good, so I'm excited to try that. But I don't want to start with that. I want to start with the candy, so let's get into it. So let's begin with these things. The lady said these were called, like, saucers. They look really sketchy because they're just in, like, a plastic bag. I'm scared they might be drugs, so I'll try that last. First, I'm going to try this thing called a coffee crisp. It's a wafer with coffee cream center. With a coffee cream center. All right. I like coffee, so this should be good. I guess I'll rate the candies as I go along. Mmm. That's really good. Mmm. Can I give that a 10? That's delicious. Hey Luke, can you get me some water so I can cleanse my palate? Yeah. Thanks. I have a good brother. The next one is called a Violet Crumble. Got this one today. It says, it's the way it shatters that matters. That scares me a little bit. I don't want to break my tooth, so. It says tear here, but I'm gonna tear from the other side because I'm a rebel. I don't even know what this is. It kind of feels like it's gonna be like a Butterfinger type thing. Ooh. Ooh. What the heck is this? I have no idea what I'm eating. It has a bit of a familiar taste. Uh -huh. Let me chew first and be mannerful. It kind of tastes like I'm eating those little meringue cookies with chocolate on the outside. Um, I don't need this in my life. Guess I'll give it a six. It's nothing special. It's kind of strange. Okay, next I'm going to try fruit pastilles. Pastilles? Pastilles? I don't know. Oh, I don't know what I'm looking at. It's like a sugar-coated something. Oh, it's chewy. It's good. Just tastes like a, uh, a sugar-coated gummy. I'll give this a seven, because it doesn't taste bad. <coughs> I'm gonna try a toffee crisp. It says crispy, crunch, chewy, munch. I feel like I should talk in a English accent because I'm trying British candy. But I have the worst English accent, as you can tell. I'm just gonna shut up now, but it's a little melted, but that's okay. Mmm. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna give this a seven. It's good, it's original. Wasn't expecting that little caramel taste in there. Mm. Oh shoot, pretty sure this expired in April. Oh well. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to the candy with these fruit gums. I feel like this is gonna be the same as the fruit pastels. And they're not sugar coated. I don't like yellow flavored candy. This is yellow, not orange, by the way. It looks orange on camera. I'll eat half of it. Is that possible? Okay, it's not. Ow. I'm gonna get cavities. Mm -mm. I don't like yellow candy. And this is like one of the worst yellow candies I've ever tasted. The next one's yellow too. Are they all yellow? Is it purple? I don't like this. They're really hard. I just expired. Ew! Okay, I give these like a negative one. That's disgusting. I don't like those. This next one is called sandwich snack or snack. I can't tell which one. Um, it's a milk chocolate sandwich biscuit. Oh, it has a cute little design on it. 
Mm, it's really good. Mm, I'll give this an eight. That's some quality chocolate right there. And biscuit. Next, I'm gonna try a lion. It kind of looks like a payday, but better. I don't really know what it's made of. This is what it looks like, pretty bumpy ride. Very liony. Just kidding, my hair's a lion, not this. Chewy, 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 chewy. I'm gonna need a sweep after this. This is not a payday. I don't like paydays. I don't really like that either. I'd give that a seven. I'm not really sure what I just ate. I'm gonna try a double decker next. This is milk chocolate with a soft, chewy nougat top and crunchy cereal bottom. Soft on top with a crispy bottom. Oh, it looks kind of cool. You can see the nougat coming out of it. This is pretty cool. Extra points for originality. About this time in the video, my mouth is feeling really gross. I don't know what I would give that, like a eight because of the originality. Now I'm gonna try this thing called flake. It's the crumbliest, flakiest milk chocolate. What caught my eye is that it says new peel and reveal. I'm curious to know what that means. Oh, it looks like this, by the way. Ooh, kind of looks like beef jerky a little bit. Oh, oh. I swear it tastes like beef jerky. Okay, that stuff is weird. I don't think I like this. I think I'm gonna give this like a five or a six. It's kind of a weird chocolate. It's flaky chocolate. I thought it would be like hard. It's like the chocolate's like falling off of the stick. I don't know, that's kind of weird. I don't know about this. Now I'm gonna try a Kimberly. Kind of soft slash hard, creamy middle. I taste ginger. It tastes super fake. Wow, it really tastes ginger. It's kind of in my throat. I don't think I like this. Mm, no, no. Now I'm gonna try the, try the drugs. So apparently you're supposed to put the whole thing in your mouth. Oh yeah, it's like a crispy type thing. And there's sugar in the middle. This is foam. Wait a second. What's going on? Is this foam? What just happened in my oh, mouth? Okay. That was edible. The heck just happened? Well, the lady at the store said this is a kid thing. So this is an Aero chocolate bar. It says, feel the bubbles. I've heard many good things about this and I like mint candy, so I tried the mint one. I didn't want just plain old chocolate. If you've been to Olive Garden, they give you like mint chocolate things and it tastes like that. Thanks guys for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed. <laughs> Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and leave a comment in, in the down bar. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Vine, Tumblr, all my social media, which is linked in the down bar. I've been obsessed with Instagram lately for some reason, so make sure to follow me on there, getting a theme going and stuff. That's basically it. Hope you all enjoyed. Um, I'll talk to you guys in my next video, and remember that Jesus loves you. Ciao. Bye. Mine was completely empty. <laughs> you didn't say they were gonna be sour. Oh, just put it all in my yeah, mouth. Yeah, yeah. Is that what you guys did? Yeah. The whole thing? Yeah. <laughs> okay, like it a, looks like jerky and it tastes like jerky. Looks like an air infused it doesn't taste nougat. anything like jerky. Oh, and the Yorkie is, is man I had a fuel, grape gummy. Man fuel for man stuff. Nothing's impressing me so far. Just Yorkie. Just Yorkie. The way it shatters is what matters. No. <laughs> like styrofoam chocolate. <laughs> A little bite. Oh, that thing follows my face, huh? I'll do that one. Wait. No. <laughs> <laughs>